welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to cook Japanese potato croquettes, which are called korokke in Japanese. Korokke is one of the Japanese good old-fashioned foods, and it's basically mashed potatoes coated with crispy bread crumbles, or panko. You can find a korokke at many places in Japan, such as Japanese restaurants, bento shops, daily section of grocery stores, convenience stores like 7-Eleven, and even at butcher shops. So please try my recipe to enjoy a classic Japanese flavor. Let's get started! Today, I'm gonna cook the korokke in three styles. The base korokke is the Japanese butcher style, which is with some meat in it, and it has a nice mild sweet taste. The second one is gonna be a melted cheese korokke. Potato and melted cheese sounds amazing already. The third one is going to be a creamy korokke that is similar to the recent popular korokke in Japan, which is called tokekoro. Toke means melting in Japanese, so the korokke is creamy like melting. All of them are tasty, and I can choose which one I like the best. First, let's cook the potatoes. Wash the potatoes and make a shallow cross by a knife. Then put them in a heat resistant bowl with a piece of plastic wrap and microwave them for about 12 minutes until they're cooked. If you prefer boiling the potatoes, please boil them from cold water, but it takes about 30 minutes to cook, so I always just microwave them. While the potatoes are cooking, let's cook the fillings with other ingredients. Finely chop the onion first. Then add one tablespoon of butter in a pan and a minced onion and a ground beef. Then break the ground beef into smaller clusters by a spatula. And add a salt and black pepper to season. Then cook over medium heat. Using butter makes the korokke more flavorful, so I like using butter for korokke rather than the cooking oil. Cook for a few minutes until the beef is fully cooked. Then add soy sauce and sugar. And cook it until the beef and the onion absorb the sweet soy sauce. Going back to the potatoes. Remove them from the microwave or stove. You can check whether the potatoes are cooked or not by inserting a skewer into the potatoes. Before getting cold, Peel the potato skin with a wet paper towel and a fork. You can start peeling the skin from the cross mark that we made earlier, and it's easy to peel the potato skin with the wet paper towel. The potatoes are quite hot, so be careful not to burn yourself. Then add the potatoes to the beef mixture in a pan, and mix them together with a musher or spatula for a mashing of potatoes. This is a base korokke mixture. I like this meaty and sweet soy sauce flavored korokke so much. It's already so tasty as it is, so I couldn't stop myself from cracking open a beer and taking a little sample. I love black pepper, so I added it a bit more. Before starting the breading, if you have the time, please put it in a container to cool the rough heat, then cool it down in the fridge. This makes shaping and breading the korokke much easier because it gets firm and easy to handle. When it's cool, divide the korokke mixture into 8 sections since I'm gonna make 8 pieces of korokke today. Then take one of the 8 portions of the mixture and shape it into rectangle rounds. Repeat this for all the remaining portions. I will shape them into half to 3 quarters inch thick, flat over shapes when I'm breading. But if you wanna make the flat over shape now, you can do that too. Coat the korokke with flour, beaten egg, and a panko one by one in this order. Then shape it into the flat over shape while flour blending nicely all over. Please make sure to bread all the sides of the korokke to have a perfect crispy korokke. Also the reason I make the korokke into this flat shape is because when we deep fry them, we won't need too much oil to cook it. I just need the oil to cover half height of the korokke to cook both sides. Then it's time for the final stage, deep frying. Bring the oil to around 350 Fahrenheit over medium heat. 
If you don't have a cooking thermometer, drop a few bread crumbles into the oil. And if they drop about halfway down into the oil, then flow back up. Your temperature is correct. Then deep fry a few pieces of karaoke at once to avoid lowering oil temperature. Cook for about 2 to 3 minutes until they're golden brown. Then turn them over to cook the other sides. Once they get the nice golden brown color on all sides, remove them from the oil and it's time to eat. We often have some greens like cabbage as a side, and we eat the korokke and the cabbage with this Japanese wish desu sauce. You can make the similar sauce by yourself too, and I left the recipe in the description box. Also you can use tonkatsu sauce if you have it. This korokke already has a nice sweet soy sauce taste. So please try it without the sauce first, and then enjoy it with the sauce too. I love the contrast of the korokke texture. The inside is so soft and smooth, but the outside is crispy. Also, it's a popular bento box food in Japan, so bringing some for picnic sounds fun too. Next one is the melted cheese korokke. Just add a piece of cheese inside the potato mixture before breading. Please make sure to cover the cheese with the potato mixture, otherwise the cheese will come out from the korokke when we are cooking. As you can see, they look amazing and taste delicious. Last one is the creamy korokke, tokekoro style. After adding the potatoes to the beef mixture, add a 1 and a half cup of milk and cook it for a few minutes over medium to low heat. As you cook, the milk evaporates and you see this nice soft creamy potato mixture. Add some salt and black pepper to bring out the flavor. Then after cooling the potato mixture, let's shape them. It's quite difficult to make it flat, so please keep it like rounded rectangle shape. If you have leftover potato mixture, I recommend making potato salad with some mayonnaise and mustard. The potato salad with the creamy milk potato mixture was the best. I think you need to make the korokke to make this delicious potato salad. Hope you enjoyed the video and hit the subscribe button for more recipes. Thank you for watching and see you again. Mata ne!